One of the great things about space and space exploration is the number of cameras that have been deployed. These give everyday people a chance to view some of the incredible sights of our universe. Incredibly though, people across the planet have been able to snap strange objects close to our planet in the sun. One place where these objects are commonly seen is that of NASA's Hedo Viewer Project. This is used by UFO researchers daily as they say it's one of the best places to view UFOs. Deployed as part of the European Space Agency and NASA's Hedo Viewer Project, the Solar Hedospheric Observatory allows anyone to view its entire library. Over the years, it's provided some incredible photographs of our sun. However, in recent times, some have noticed some strange anomalies. Various websites have just posted an image which allegedly shows a giant cube-like object. Interestingly, they say that whatever this object is, it must be interested in our sun, as it can be seen here every couple of weeks or so. This has only caused people to speculate about what this mysterious object might be. Some put forward the idea that it may have been exiting the sun, while others who have studied these objects have said they just hover around it, and that they can be seen leaving the area at high speeds. So what is it that people are seeing? As of right now, UFO researchers have said that they think these crafts are not of this world, and could even be monitoring our planet. Some go on to say that these giant cubes are hundreds of miles in length, and that perhaps we should look into why these objects are so interested in our sun. They go on to say that for years mysterious objects have been seen in and around our sun. Those who have measured the objects say it ranges from being the size of planet Earth to even bigger. This is why they rule out that it originates on Earth. One website that looks into these accounts is that of ET Database and they've suggested in the past these giant crafts have been over 25 times the size of planet Earth. ET Database has even said that large flares that can be seen were caused by giant UFOs exiting the sun. Other UFO researchers have pointed out that it's one of the best places to see UFOs. Interestingly, they say that different shaped crafts can be seen leaving our sun, and that some of them even stick around for several hours, before making a quick getaway. Due to this, amateur researchers have spent countless hours watching these live feeds and looking through old images, only to find the same shaped objects close to our sun. One individual said the following about the anomalies. I've been watching the Soho cameras for years and I've seen some strange things. This most recent photo, however, is one of the best ones to come from Soho, and I think it could be the real deal. For years now, these cameras have been capturing these crafts and no one seems to know what they are. For the past five years, they keep reappearing at our sun and no one seems to know why. Others, however, are not so sure, with one person saying the following. If this was a real craft, it would be absolutely massive. No object could get that close to the sun due to the heat it gives off. As of right now, UFO researchers think that these crafts have been visiting our sun for years and even suggest they may be using it as some sort of portal, or that the sun could be some type of fueling station. NASA has provided an official explanation on their SOHO page. They said the following, Ever since launch there's been a number of people who claim to have seen flying saucers and other objects in SOHO images. Although some of these supposed pictures of UFOs can seem quite intriguing, they've always turned out to have quite an ordinary cause when examined by experienced SOHO scientists. In recent days, we've been receiving so many questions and claims that we'd like to set the record straight. We've never seen anything that even suggests there are UFOs out there. In the past, we've been accused of covering up UFO evidence when we present our explanations, and of refusing to comment or clamming up when we give up on somebody who won't accept our explanations. While we don't expect to convince everybody, we hope that this page and links can provide some information for the curious who want to investigate their claims on their own. Most commonly, UFO claims are due to perfectly natural flaws, or artifacts in our publicly available data. Some of the things that people are seeing are planets, cosmic rays, software glitches, and debris. Another NASA official said the following about their claims. The majority of these alleged UFO sightings can be easily explained. 
one of the things that people see is space debris that's made its way into the front of the cameras. When these pieces of debris are up close, it can look like an unidentified flying object. In reality, people are just seeing a common piece of space debris. According to a former NASA engineer, James Oberg, he went on to say that these objects are just space dandruff floating in front of cameras. When they appear in front of cameras, they give off the effect that something much larger is there when in reality, what people are seeing has a natural origin. He said the following about the discoveries. I've had enough experience with real spaceflight to realize that what's being seen in many videos is nothing beyond the norm, and what's being seen is fully mundane phenomena occurring in unearthly settings. One person didn't agree with this statement though and went on to say the following. Although I can agree the majority of these sightings are natural, I fail to believe that these giant cubes are just space debris. They are always the same size and colour, which makes me think that the cube isn't the object, but rather this cube is placed there to hide something behind it. The reason I say this is because the cubes do appear to be the same shape every time, so I think that instead of editing out what's behind it, or editing the image every time an object is seen, one of the giant cubes is placed on top of it. Not only does this look like a processing error, but it also hides whatever was there. I've seen objects around our sun for many years now. You can use a decent telescope to see them. I have one where I've placed on top of it a sun filter. On a few occasions I've been able to watch strange objects around our sun, before they quickly shoot off. As of today though, NASA scientists and researchers have said that what's been seen here is nothing strange and is just space debris. They say that pareidolia also plays into this, where people's brains are playing tricks on them. They also point to people wanting to find alien life, so when something slightly strange is discovered, people automatically go straight to aliens. Space is one of the last frontier for humans. Many scientists and researchers have expressed their interest in exploring their stars, However, with the universe being so vast, the question is, are we ever going to make it past our solar system? Various people have given their opinions on these questions, with some individuals such as the late Dr. Hawking saying we'll be a space faring species, whereas others have said it's very unlikely the human race will ever make it past the solar system. However, there's another group of people that say this can be done, and they point to unidentified flying objects. With the Pentagon and Department of Defense admitting that these objects are very much real, it's caused a lot of excitement around this topic. One idea that some have put forward is that whoever is piloting these crafts have managed to create the technology to travel vast distances. It's not just been in recent times that mysterious looking crafts have been observed. In fact, they've been witnessed for hundreds of years now, with various people describing different shaped objects flying in our skies. These mysterious objects have been depicted in paintings and can even be seen in cave art. Every day these mysterious objects are witnessed, and while many of these can be explained as natural phenomena, aircrafts, debris, animals or other objects, some do remain a mystery. Right now space agencies are looking for life outside of our planet. It's also important to remember that UFO stands for unidentified flying object and does not mean the object in question is alien in nature. It's only been in recent years that people have connected the two. So what do you guys make of these giant cubes? Do you think they are giant objects that are interested in our sun? Do you think the cubes are placed there to hide an object? Or do you think NASA are correct in that what we're seeing is just processing errors? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.